messy hair. It's been a crazy morning. Before we get into today's video, if you like what you're watching, please take the time, consider giving me a like, subscribe. Um, I am a baby channel, and in in trying to grow the channel, I'm going to be. So as I'm. Oh boy, COVID-19, you know, kids are home. That that sucks. Are you in the same boat as me? Comment if you are, because, <sighs> yo. All right, so it, Baby Channel, trying to grow the channel, and uh, I'm gonna give something away, one of my favorite kitchen gadgets. Um, every time I reach a milestone that I have set out for myself, so the first milestone is gonna be 100 subscribers. So please, if you like what I'm doing, if you wanna see more, like, share, maybe not the hair, but like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, first hundred subscribers, I'll give it one of my favorite kitchen gadgets and I'll just keep upping the ante every time I get it to a milestone. All right, now that that's all out of the way, kids are home, <laughs> trying to make lunch fun, different, not the same old, same old, or you just game night and you want a snack, right? Sure, um, totally should have made this last night, Last night when I was watching the season five finale of Outlander, oh, broke my heart. Did it break your guys' heart? Like, yo, I was crying, legit. <sighs> Anyways, we're gonna make kind of like a pizza stuffed uh, soft shell pretzel. Why not, right? Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so in this bowl here, I have one and a half cups of warm water, one packet of Mommy, active dry yeast, one tablespoon of sugar and one tablespoon of salt. I let it go and rise for about five minutes. It's bubbling, it's doing its thing. So to this, I'm gonna add four and a half cu cups of flour and we're gonna give it a mix. Okay, so we got our four and a half cups of flour in and we're going to give this a mix until it's pretty much all incorporated and then we're just going to knead it the tiniest little bit with our hands. Now we are going to let this sit saran covered oh i made a mess oh for an hour um i am slightly pressed for time because i am planning on making this for the kids for their lunch so i'm thinking i'm totally going to rise it in my instant pot on the yogurt setting for about a half hour i think that should be I just keep making a mess. <sighs> okay, I think that should be sufficient. Okay, let's get her all mixed up. Okay, so this is about the texture that we're looking for. It's pretty much all the way from the bowl. So if you don't uh, have a instant pot where you're going to be letting it rise then you would literally just lift up your your dough ball here you'd add in about a good tablespoon of vegetable oil you would move your dough ball around coat it cover it with saran wrap let it chill for about an hour uh, I'm going to essentially do this process in the instant pot Let's see if this is better light for you okay so this is the consistency we're looking for. Pretty much all the dough is away. Don't worry about cleaning the bowl first. Just get some oil in there, coat everything, then cover it. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing in the Instant Pot on the yogurt setting for 30 minutes. So we'll see you my time in 30 minutes. In the meantime, I would use this, oh, look at that hair. <laughs> I would use this opportunity to get all of your pizza toppings ready. Grate your cheese, shred your cheese. Um, I'm not going to go with very wet ingredients because we are going to boil this um, in water prior to putting it into the oven. So things like tomatoes and whatnot, probably not the greatest idea. I'm going to see if I've got pepperoni. Not confident. We'll figure it out. We'll come back. See you in a bit. All right. Now it's been probably about an hour for you. 36 minutes for me. Um, it's looking good, so I'm going to evenly cut this up. Now I lightly dusted my board here, just because this was going to be a little sticky and I didn't want to have to pry it um, off my board. So remember, this is a denser dough because it, uh, well, it's going to be a pretzel. 
So I've got my oven preheating to 450 degrees. I also have a saucepan um, that is filled with water on uh, medium high with, a, uh, with two thirds of a cup of baking soda. Okay, so I'm gonna try and evenly <laughs> guesstimate these. If they're not perfect, yo, they're not perfect. I'm just gonna oh, put these back in my, so I have some space to work with. All right. Now for your toppings, uh, you know, you can, you can choose whatever you want. I, I suggest not wet things. So, you know, like pepperoni and cheese would be lovely. Um, I didn't have the, I had cheese. Um, so we're going to be utilizing some leftovers too, right? And of course my thing is I throw in a ton of veg. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll it out. Wishing I had a bigger cutting board. Uh, I don't wanna do it on the counter just cause it's coronavirus. And although we lice all our counters all the time, um, I can't throw my countertop in the dishwasher, right? So you know what? I can throw my cutting boards in the dishwasher as I typically do. So that's what we're going to do here. Okay. I'm just going to put something underneath so it stops moving around. Okay, so now that I've got my counter here space so that it's not moving around, I'm very lightly, like I'm not going hard with a rolling pin, but I'm very lightly just doing that. And I'm going to stretch it just the tiniest little bit with my hands, okay, because I am stuffing these. Okay, and you don't want to overstuff it to the point where when you're boiling your pretzels here for the for a minute, that it's going to all just leak out. Okay, so I had we had some lovely Portuguese um, piri piri marinated chicken last night, uh, so we don't let anything go to waste. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I've got the, the chicken that I'm using in there because we don't want leftovers go to waste. I sauteed, of course I did, some spinach and um, and it's okay if some of the cheese is like on the outside, okay? Like, because we're not going to use all this cheese. I grated uh, too much, but a cup and a quarter. Um, but anyways, I sauteed some spinach, some shallots, and some garlic. Okay, so now we're going to literally close this back up so it looks like a long rope and we're going to be very careful to pinch the sides but we're also going to roll it after just to ensure okay that it is fully closed so we're pulling from the bottom pushing our ingredients in pinch 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 okay get back in there pull from the bottom pinch 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 And really, you can stuff this with kind of whatever you you want, right? And it's fun, it's different. I'm always looking for ways to use my uh, leftover ingredients um, and repurpose them in different meals, right? Because I, I am, I'd like to consider myself a budget-friendly uh, person, and that's what I strive to kind of show you guys in, in different recipes. Um, but, you know, sometimes the kids are like, oh, leftover chicken again. Like, how do you make that exciting? Right? And I mean, school, God willing, <laughs> is around the corner in September. I mean, I know. I get it, people. We're in May. And yes, we want the kids to go back to school now. I'm just, you know, looking for, for meal ideas, especially because I have one who will be starting school. And how do you get them to eat, right, at school? Because they're kind of used to home, especially during coronavirus. Okay. So I'm tucking in the sides. Okay. 
and I'm just pinching everything. And now I'm going to roll it again. just to make certain that it is sealed, okay? See, see, I found a spot. Oh, you know why? Because that part was on the middle, on the groove of the non-cutting board surface. So take your time and I'm gonna make sure everything's pinched up and we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're ready for the roll. So these aren't going to be huge, okay? going to go up in a circle. Okay, so it's like a U. Over and down. Okay, so I'll do that so you can see it. Up like a circle. Over. Down. Okay. Oh, out to the side. See? You know what, I don't even think it matters how perfect she looks. Because reality is, look at that, she opened up on me. Sorry, what I was saying is you, you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. So although it may not be in a perfect pretzel shape, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm putting this on high in the water that has the uh, three quarters of a cup of baking soda on. I'm going to let it go for one to two minutes. I'm going to place it on my um, Silpat lined baking tray. If you don't have a Silpat, you can use um, parchment paper, not wax paper, please. And then you're going to put it in a preheated 450 degree oven for 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to do a light egg wash on top. The traditional way is salt. These are more pizza-esque. So I'm going to be doing some Parmigiano Reggiano, but the choice is yours. Dipping sauce, obviously marinara, marinara or um, peri peri sauce for these, just because they've got the peri peri uh, marinated chicken. So I'll uh, I'll get this on the tray when it's done. I'm going to continue rolling because it's a hot mess in here. Okay, now we're going to put the egg wash on. As you can see, I have done them in different sizes. Um, all right, so this is about 10 minutes. Uh, they need 15 for the most part, but I wanted to pull them out and show you. And for the last couple of minutes, I'm gonna put just some marble cheese kind of on it, around it, um, get it all nice and crispified. I think that would be very yummy. So this is looking like a perfect back to school lunch as well. We'll see you in about five minutes. I'm gonna get it all covered. Back in the oven at 450, she goes. All right, piping hot. They just came out. They look delicious. I'm gonna let them rest for about 10 minutes. Super easy, super fun, super yummy. Uh, they look delicious. I can't wait. We'll come back and we'll try it in 10 minutes just so you can see how it pulls apart. But what a what an awesome lunch idea for kids, you know? And for game night, if you do this with, um, for, for a game night, you got the guys over, you've got teenage boys, even teenage girls, man, slumber party, after COVID-19, I'll link in the description below my dill pickle chicken fingers recipe, this, with that, would be bomb diggity, so we'll come back and we can open this up and we'll give it a taste. Alright, I took a few off here, break into it, oh, it looks yummy. Nice and cooked all the way through. Let's give it a taste, shall we? Mm hmm. Absolutely perfect. It doesn't matter who eats it, kids, you, game night people, you're gonna love it every time. And the best thing is that you can pretty much stuff it and fill it with whatever your favorite ingredients are. Let me know in the comment. What's your favorite pizza ingredient? Mine is pickled artichokes. I'm a weirdie. That's okay. But enjoy. And please, if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. We'll see you next time.